Have you ever felt that moment where time just disappears while you are busy with an activity? The moment where you are so immersed in the task at hand that hours fly by, the world disappears and you feel like you could go on forever. This is actually a state that is built within all of our brains and it's called the state of flow. Flow is often described as being in the zone. It's the state where productivity meets pleasure. We've all had moments of flow in our life. Just picture that time you're reading a book and everything else disappears. Or you're playing some sport and time disappears once again. You're so immersed and focused on the task at hand, but you're also deeply enjoying that moment as well. But the beauty is that this mental sweet spot is not just a happy accident. It's a symphony orchestrated by our brains. So the big question then is, how do we all reach that state? And how do you induce that state at will? Well, for starters, you need to actually understand what the flow state in our brain actually is. We all have a part of our brain called the prefrontal cortex. It's the CEO of our brain, if you will. But when we enter into a flow state, this prefrontal cortex goes on a mini vacation. And this process is called transient or temporary hypofrontality. When we are busy with an activity that enters into flow state, we experience transient hypofrontality, which is basically like putting your nagging boss on mute. But that's one part of the flow state. The second part of flow is that it is a chemical cocktail party that happens in your brain. For starters, dopamine, your brain's anticipation and reward neurotransmitter, boosts your focus and motivation during that task at hand. Secondly, our brain's natural painkillers called endorphins are flooded through our brain, creating the sense of euphoria while performing the task. And third, our brain is also flooded with serotonin, the emotional regulation hormone that keeps us calm, present and content. So these three hormones work together to induce a state of flow, mixing motivation, a sense of euphoria and a sense of calm presence to create a state in which time disappears and we are totally immersed with the task at hand. So then how do you get an invite to this chemical cocktail party that happens in your brain? Well, basically all you need to do is to find those tasks in your life that are a sweet spot between being something that you are both good at, but that is also challenging enough. If an activity is too easy, then boredom kicks in too quickly. If an activity is way too challenging, then we become overwhelmed and anxious. So then picture a graph. And on that graph, picture an activity that is extremely easy. What happens is we engage in that activity, but we soon get too bored. And on the flip side, imagine an activity that we engage in that quickly becomes far too challenging for our skill set. We quickly become overwhelmed and we cannot continue further. So the key to entering into a flow state is to engage or allow yourself an environment that will naturally engage in activities that are both just challenging enough and just at the brink of our own skill sets. It's about engaging in activities that you are both good at, but that also pushes your boundaries just enough that you can handle it. And that's when you enter into that beautiful magical state of flow. The magic happens when a task is challenging enough to keep us engaged within the bounds of our own skill set. It's like tuning a guitar string to the perfect pitch, not too tight, but not too loose, just to get the right note that you want to hit. So in this balanced state, our skills stretch just enough to meet the challenge at hand, and it turns mundane tasks into something far more exciting. And when you understand this, you will realize that flow is a dance between challenge and skill. A neurological party that basically turns work into play and something that you can apply today to all the activities that you have to do and something that you can use to turn those activities into gamified experiences of leveling up and challenging yourself every day. But remember when you challenge yourself to enter into that flow state, don't make it too challenging at the beginning. Step by step is the best way to get there. And if you're a student, imagine combining this state of flow with scientifically proven memory techniques. Well, I actually show you just how to do that in this series. And this video is video two in a four-part series on the art and science of productivity and learning 
using neuroscience. Click here to find out what those memory techniques are and join me on the series to maximize your potential as a learner. I'll see you there.